before the pandemic, there was a kind of rhythm at which the whole world was operating at. And in a way, I think the pandemic has given us a chance to step back and, and ask ourselves what is truly important. And has forced us to really identify what is at the core of things that we want to hold on to. We need to continue celebrating being together as a community. And performance art is a wonderful way of doing that. When we first launched Dance in High Park, we weren't sure how audiences were going to respond, whether there would be residual fear, whether the habit of going to see live performance just no longer seemed available to people. And we were shocked and, and very happy to see how quickly people seized the tickets to Dance in High Park. We wanted to make sure that audiences felt very comfortable and safe coming to a live performance. That was our absolute main concern. We wanted to make sure that everybody was wearing a mask, to make sure that physical distancing was being adhered to, and just making sure that everybody felt like they could be comfortable and safe in our environment. What a perfect space to see anything at any time. And uh, really, they went above and beyond setting up the auditorium for us to be safe, to be comfortable. Everything was so clearly explained. And then we just were able to enjoy the performance without worrying about any safety issues. People are cherishing the moment of being in an audience so much more deeply. You can see it in people's eyes. You can see, as people are stepping into this amphitheater, the joy that they feel in seeing other humans <laughs> and, and then joining an, into a communal experience. So I think we're finding new ways to cherish the meaning of being together. As a performing artist, our work is not just about being on stage, it's really about connecting with an audience, relaying a story, going on a journey with them. Not having had that opportunity for the last six months, I kind of forgot what it feels like. 